Tis now Tuesday, the 18th of January, 2022. It's 51 degrees here where I live in Southern California on the edge of the desert. Been very windy. It rained a lot today. It was kind of gray, overcast, and bleh. Yes, that's a weather term. Bleh. Um, I've been just not feeling it today again, you know, I don't know, is it the stars aligning, is it me aging, I don't know what it is, hopefully it's not the, you know what, I don't think so, I had this abscess up here, it's probably what it is, um, that's weighing me down, and making me hot and cold, everyone has a window to their God, or if you don't believe in God, it's to the ethereal plane, and you can pass information to your God or the ethereal plane through this window up here. And the reason why a lot of people wear head coverings in their church or synagogue or temple is to be humble from God. To be humble. Show God that you're humble. Okay? That's where that comes from. It also lets a lot of heat out when it's cold. So I made this hat. I have some scraps of fabric. It's got some of that fuzzy stuff inside. And I put it on, and I look like some medieval peasant, but I don't care because it keeps my head warm, keeps the heat in. So, uh, I made vegetable beef soup and rolls today, and uh, they were very good. I have a little bit of vegetable soup left over, and I'll have to make some new rolls. They're really good when they're fresh and hot right out of the oven. And these rolls, I put special kind of cheese inside. Um, I got it from Trader Joe's, and I don't really recall what it's called, but it's been soaked in wine or something. The outside's purple. And it's a hard cheese like Parmesan, and it's really good. Really good. And I was watching various things on television documentaries and stuff while I was making this book I wrote a children's book where the Barney Bear and his magic car and I used that foam board that people use to write garage sale on and stick it some places <laughs> stick it some places hmm Ah, uh, so I, I spent a lot of time doing that, drawing the pictures, coloring in the pictures, putting tape on there to protect the pictures from baby slobber, which I'm sure will get baby slobber on it. And I'm going to make a video of it and tell the story just as I'm telling it to the baby. And I'm sending the link to my son in Canada because if it's a file, it's too big of a file to send. And I am not that tech savvy, because I'm old, and I, each new thing that comes out, I just feel like hiding in a hole. <laughs> I know how to cook by hand, and sew by hand, and do stuff by hand. I still write letters, old-fashioned and old. So, when the apocalypse happens, come to me, I'll show you how to cook. Or whatever. Anyway, let's see if I can think real quick. Surely think real quick. I've been meaning to uh, vacuum the floor for the last couple days, and I haven't. I touched up a painting that I had hanging in the bathroom that got wet, and the paint ran. So even if it's acrylic, if it gets wet, the paint will soften and run. Unless, I guess, unless you spray it with a some kind of something I don't know anyway Brian and Ashley were off Brian was called into work then he came back later and I heard lots of giggling laughing and baby talk over there through the door and I listened to music and I took a nap and my nap dream was really interesting two different guys and it just didn't quite just not quite <laughs> you get so far in the it's kind of like my eating dreams or where there's a banquet table and you never get to eat 
Now I can eat in my dreams, but now this is a different subject matter and I get close. <laughs> can you can you really make your own dreams? Can you can you do it? How do you do it? Cuz there's I'll, I'll make a list of what I want to dream about. That's for sure. I'm old, but I'm not dead. <laughs> oh, I made a video of lots of things, bits and pieces and 15 minutes worth. And that's why I'm doing this through the computer because editing that, oh, what a pain in the butt. And watching it would be even worse. What I did basically showed you different things and how I am efficient at various things. Or things that you can do to not be, I mean, you know, just make your life easier. Okay, well, I've already talked for six minutes. Now I'm starting to get hot. I'm going to take my shirt off. <laughs> or the hat. Yeah, that, that might work better. <laughs> Some guy out there is going, oh, yeah, take the shirt off. And other guys out there going, oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, I watched a lot of uh, Juventus uh, soccer. It's Italian soccer team in, uh, in the north of Italy. That's what I was watching today. The history of Juve. I like soccer. It's like a cat watching mice run around. That's me, except these mice have good looking legs. I'm not a butt person, I'm a shoulders person, but I like watching all these guys running around. You know, I like soccer, I used to play it. Here I am straying again. Here she goes. <laughs> I've got to get back in the neck. Tomorrow, Ashley's home, but the next day, I'm back on baby duty, and I have to get back into the night routine of going to bed and going to sleep and all that stuff. I haven't been at the computer very much. I've been too tired. That's another symptom of you know what. I, I'm just trying to stay well. I'm trying to stay healthy. So I can go upward and onward.